What is up, fam? As y'all know, I'm doing 75 videos straight. I've already set some epic goals for the year to come, and I'm already cranking on them, so get your set to. Happy New Year's, y'all. Let's get to some teeth action of the teeth and turbos. Let's cut to it. daily vlog we are on day 13 of daily uploads until i finish 75 hard it's been an absolute grind so far and i'm excited for all the content that i have coming towards you so today we are at my office we're doing a remodel project as y'all know i'm a huge car guy and i love working on stuff in my garage so i am passionate about this milwaukee packout stuff it's super sick and so i've always wanted to convert my surgical rooms into like a garage oriented theme you could say so i've got a toolbox i got a bunch of milwaukee pack out stuff today we're going to be ripping out some cabinets and a wall and then doing a big milwaukee pack out wall so i'm super stoked a little bit of remodel content at the office but how i see it is i like to improve my life in my office on things that i want to make better one percent a day if you can improve one percent a day then by the end of the year you've improved over 360 percent so let's get to it let's get this room out so that we can improve one percent today so this is one of the rooms we're going to be working in today this is my main surgical operatory and this is the wall that we are going to be redoing so as you can see i currently already put stuff into milwaukee packouts to help stay organized with all these parts and pieces that go along with doing dental implants and I want my patients to have a very personalized experience where they can walk into somewhere and feel like I'm on the cutting edge of, you know, great software, great equipment, modernism, and so that they feel like they are getting the best possible care they can. So when sitting in this chair, they currently look at this wall here. So my plan is to remove all these cabinets. We're going to do a Milwaukee pack out wall. We're gonna paint this whole wall black and then I have a really cool toolbox I'm gonna to put here with sliding drawers. So I'm gonna show you that because that's in the waiting room. Like I said earlier, I'm really into garage tools, stuff like that. And so I thought a perfect addition to the office and my surgical rooms would be to use toolboxes. And so I was looking for the perfect size toolbox and this is it. This is the perfect length, perfect width. I got it from a company called New Age. They're not sponsoring this video by any means. I paid full price for this. But this will be a lot easier to keep all of my implants and parts and everything in these sliding drawers instead of having it kept into these cabinets. Uh, these cabinets, yeah, they're just kind of old and, you know, they're just, they look like crap. Personally, I, I just really hate the look of this room in here. So if I can improve this room, 1% today, then I'm going to be happy. All right, we just put the base cab off the wall. If you are mounting something and you have to drill 20 holes to find a stud, just stop. Just go buy a stud finder and do it right. This crap drives me crazy. I mean, we've all done it looking for a stud, but not ideal, guys. Come on, we got to fix all this now. Really glad I wasn't alone just now. This guy just saved my life, dude. <laughs> we were unscrewing the cabinet. This thing fell right on me. Took the blind out. We've got a time lapse going, so hopefully we got some quality footage there. But be careful out there, guys. Don't go full send all the time. So room two, we have our hygiene room. This is where people come to get their cleanings. We've already semi-remodeled this room a couple weeks ago, but now it's time to take all these cabinets out and do new base cabs. So we're gonna demo these today, tear them down, take them out, and then the new cabs are already here and assembled. So we just gotta install those tomorrow. Troop number one, today's hardware for today. All right guys, this is Mike, he's a little camera shy. He said this is the first time he'll ever be on the internet. So tell us a little about yourself, Mike. Uh, Northport Home Services, Yeah. we do uh, remodels, floors, drywall showing mm. that office i know i know dude we're get, we're chugging right along here so he and i ended up meeting because he came to my office needing needing some work done and we get to talking i find out what he does and i'm like brother i need you like you need me so we've been uh chipping away at the office one room at a time working together so that we can get each other right
finally finished up the wall. I think it looks absolutely sick. I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier for my staff to grab stuff once they fill up all these bins and grab these packouts that have different parts and pieces for implants in them. I also think it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. Like it looks nice and it's better than those old crappy cabinets with packouts stacked everywhere and whatever. I still have to put an outlet cover on, but that is it for this job here. We got more DIY projects coming. I'm trying to improve this place 1% better at a time. You should do the same thing with your life and your home and your office. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.